Mathematics Tutorial with Emma Johnny. Okay, welcome back. This is forms of sets we are going to be looking at. Now, we've defined sets already in the previous video. So here we'll be looking at different ways in which sets can be represented. That's when we talk about forms of sets. We, are, we have basically two ways in which sets can be represented. So the first way is tabular form. Please, in case you don't hear tabular form, we can also use the word roster form or we can use the word listed form. Any of them you see, they mean one and the same thing. So it's either you say tabular form or roster form or listed form. So that's the first form in which set can be represented. In other words, if I have a set A to be equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So these are the elements of this set A. I can also have a set B to be A, B, C, D, E, and so on. So these are the elements of this particular set B. Now you can see that in set A, the elements of the set are listed out for me to see. Set B here, the elements are listed. So at this point, we can say that this is the listed form of set, or we say tabular form or roster form. So in summary, when the elements of a set are written out boldly for you to see, then this is listed form of set. The second way is what we call the set builder form. The set builder form. In set builder form, the elements of the set are not listed, but with the properties to which you can list the elements of the set. What I'm trying to say is this. Let's say I have a set A to be equals to, A is a set of natural numbers a set of natural numbers i can say b is a set of vowel sounds set of vowel for vowel so to say now here the elements of this set are not listed so there's no way you can make use of it the way it is but rather the first thing you must do is to see how you can write out the elements of this set. So when you say A is a set of natural numbers, the first question that should come to mind is what are natural numbers? That will really help you to list the elements of this set. And then even if I say that C is a set of even numbers, even numbers less than 10. Set of even numbers less than 10. The question is, what are even numbers? By the time you understand the concept of even numbers or natural numbers, I can even use the word prime numbers. When you understand those terminologies, then it will help you to list the element of this set. When you say vowels, we know R, A, E, and so on and so forth. So it is now in your place as a student to list the elements of this set. So let's pick this first one, a set of natural numbers. And we know that natural numbers begins from one and ends at infinity. You can count natural numbers from now till Jesus returns. It will never end. You keep counting, you keep counting. So, except I write it in such a way that there is an end, else it continues till infinity. So set of natural numbers, it begins with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till infinity. But if I say set of even numbers less than 10, at this point, this one has an end. So that means that set B now will be, what are even numbers? Numbers that are divisible by 2. The first even number is 2. So we can say 2, 4, 6, it. And we said even numbers less than 10. That means 10 cannot be inclusive. The number that the even number the less than 10 is 8. So you stop at 8. So that is 
the elements of this set B. Now, if you want to list for vowels, okay, this is for set um, C, set C, but for set B, which is vowel, you can see that the vowels are this A, A, E, O, A, A, E, O, and so on and so forth. So please note. A, A, E, O, 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 and so on and so forth. But what is most important is that you must be able to list the elements of the set. So in summary, in listed form or tabular form or roster form, the elements of the set are listed. But in set builder form, in set builder form, the elements of the set are not listed. Like in this case, one, two, three, the elements are not listed. But you as a student must be able to list the elements of the set before you make use of it. So you can see that you've been able to transform from set builder form to listed form before you can make use of it. And for us to successfully transform sets from set builder form to listed form it becomes very very important that you must understand types of numbers numbers like natural numbers integers rational numbers prime numbers odd numbers prime factors and so on and so forth so i expect you to have learned those things before now i believe you have done that in your junior secondary school but in case you've not I will pro produce a video on types of number. But in this context, I'm only going to pick a few numbers that will be very, very relevant to us. And then before I end this session, let me quickly say that if I have a set, say A, if I have something like this, maybe three okay if I have something like this how do I read this this is a, a set also but the element of the set are not listed but with the properties to which you can list them so at this point it is in set builder form but you have to write it in listed form like I said earlier so I want to I see something like this how do I read we say that a is a set of X such that x lies between 3 and 4 and then 3 and 4 are inclusive but if i do something like this i'll say that a is a set of x such that x lies between 3 and 4 but 3 is inclusive and 4 is not inclusive all that is grammar don't worry i'll make you understand that as i will also borrow the concepts of inequalities to explain this part for us so quickly like I said I'm going to pick out some certain types of numbers and explain it to us as it will help us in transforming sets from set builders form to listed form of sets see you in the next video I still remain Emmanuel Johnny of video mathematics tutor thank you for watching please don't forget to share like subscribe and comment on my videos thank you